Kelly O there champs and welcome to the show. Now it's 2017, early 2017 and you want to know what graphics card to buy. Well this is my 2017 ultimate graphics shootout. I have reviewed every single new generation graphics card so I will leave links in the description where you can see the review on every single new generation graphics card. I have reviewed cards from XFR, Gigabyte, Asus, MSI and every single one from the RX 460 and GTX 1050 right up to the Titan so if you want a more in detail review on every one of those graphics cards make sure you check out that link in the description there. Now I'm going to break this up into three segments your entry level, mid level and high end. I'm going to tell you the best graphics card in each segment and I'm going to tell you the best bang for buck in each segment. I'm going to give the best graphics card overall. I'll also leave links in the description where you can buy all of these graphics cards. So check out those links if you want to buy them. So the first segment is the entry level. So you're talking about anywhere from $120 to $170. There are three graphics cards in this dogfight. You have the 2 gigabyte RX 460, you have the 2 gigabyte GTX 1050, and you have the 4 gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti. So this is fairly and squarely 1080p gaming. Don't try and do anything more with this. You probably can get some more out of it, but this is 1080p gaming. So the best performing graphics card in this segment is the 4 gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti. Without a doubt, that is the best performing one. But when it comes to best bang for buck, and you're looking at both the two gigabyte versions of the RX 460 and GTX 1050, this is really line ball. And it may come down to which one you can get cheaper. Now, originally the 1050 was a little bit faster, but AMD have released some new drivers out there that make the RX 460 pretty much neck and neck with the GTX 1050. So if you're gonna ask me which is the best bang for buck in this segment, I would pick the RX 460 over the 1050 there. They're pretty neck and neck, but the RX 460 is trending where it likes DX12 games better. So in the future, you may get better results with the RX 460 there. But again, this is line ball. We're talking a Bs diaphragm difference between the GTX 1050 and the RX 460. So it may just come down to brand loyalty or which one you can pick up cheaper. So let's go to the mid range now. So I guess there are a few different SKUs but basically the dogfight is between the 4 gigabyte RX 470, the 4 gigabyte to 8 gigabyte RX 480, the 3 gigabyte to 6 gigabyte GTX 1060. They're pretty much all the mid range cards. These cards will smash 1080p You'll be able to play 1440p and maybe a little bit of 4K gaming if you dial the settings down there. Really, these are basically for 1080p and 1440p gaming there. Price range, yeah, anywhere from, you know, 170 to 250 but depending on which model you get. So the best performing graphics card in this segment would be, and this is another one, it's so line ball between a 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 and the 8 gigabyte RX 480. It is so close. Now, originally the, the GTX 1060 was actually significantly faster than the RX 480, but again, AMD have released some new drivers and the RX 480 is neck and neck with the GTX 1060 now. So again, this may come down to which one you can get cheaper. Again, with the AMD RX 480, it is trending that DX12 work better with the AMD cards. So all things considered, I would say the 8 gigabyte RX 480 and specifically the Asus Strix version. Check out the description for the link to that. That one overclocks good, it's quiet. I've reviewed that particular model there. You get an extra two gigabyte over the GTX 1060, six gigabyte version. So that extra two gigabytes may come in handy in the future. But pretty much considering that there's not much difference in performance between both of them. Again, it's gonna come down to which one you can maybe get cheaper there or your brand loyalty. But for my pick, the eight gigabyte RX 480. Now, best bang for buck in this segment, you're looking at the four gigabyte RX 480 or three gigabyte GTX 1060 or the RX 470. This one's actually really hard to decide going on prices now sometimes the difference between the rx 470 3 gigabyte gtx 1060 and the 4 gigabyte rx 480 is not that much sometimes actually the 3 gigabyte 1060 seems to be pretty much the cheapest so but i recently reviewed the 3 gigabyte version of the gtx 1060 and that really impressed me it was actually able to play battlefield 1 at 4k at playable frame rates there if you turn down the settings a bit 
So all things considered there, I would have to probably go to 3 gigabyte GTX 1060 because it does seem significantly cheaper than the 4 gigabyte RX 480. Definitely at this present moment there. They've, they've really aggressively priced that. If they were around the same price, I would go to 4 gigabyte RX 480 and the RX 470 if you can get a deal on that. If that's significantly cheaper than the 3 gigabyte 1060 or the 4 gigabyte RX 480, that may be the way to go. But from the pricing I can see now, the best bang for buck would be the 3 gigabyte GTX 1060. Now let's go to the high end segment. And yeah, the high end segment's pretty easy. There's only Nvidia cards here. So you've got the GTX 1070, GTX 1080, and GTX, or oh, it's not GTX, the Titan X. And of course, the Titan X is the fastest. No competition there. Best bang for buck? Well, it would have to be the GTX 1070. Of course, it's not as fast as the GTX 1080, but it is significantly cheaper, and you'll be able to do some 4K gaming with that. These graphics cards are all for 1440, 1080. They would smash that. With the GTX 1080, you can play pretty much any title, 4K, high settings. GTX 1070, you might have to lower those settings down a bit, but you can play 4K game with that, no problem. As I said, easy. The Titan X is the best graphics card in this segment. It will be interesting when the GTX 1080 Ti comes out and I'll update this buyer's guide but if you're asking me which is best bang for buck yeah the GTX 1070 is definitely the best bang for buck in this segment so now let's talk about the overall best graphics card with everything considered price performance features etc and of course if you're just looking at the best graphics card of obviously the titan x is the best graphics card but when everything else is considered i will give the best graphics card to the 8 gigabyte rx 480 and specifically the strix version of it i think that's the best version of it has a nice overclock out of the box you can get a bit more out of it, it has 8 gigabytes of ram and it was really close between the 6 gigabyte gtx 1060 and the 8 gigabyte rx 480 but it come down to basically the extra two Two gigabytes you get with the RX 480. Pretty much they're priced around the same price. The performance is very similar with the RX 480 getting a little bit of an advantage with DX12 titles but there's not much between them. But the thing that made me choose the RX 480 over the GTX 1060 was just the extra two gigabytes of RAM. I mean, that may be handy in the future there. And really, you could make an argument either way, but I don't like to sit on the fence, so that's my best graphics card. All things considered, the 8 gigabyte RX 480 and specifically the Strix version of it. That's the one you want. And again, links in the description for the reviews of all these graphics cards and also where you can buy these graphics cards. And I'd really like to thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up there if you like this video. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.